In this video, we're going to do a quick worked example of finding the equations of lines parallel and perpendicular to a given line through a given point. Let's say we have now the line y is equal to 2x plus 1, and we want to find the equations of lines parallel and perpendicular to this line passing through the point 4, comma 3. So we have a line and we have a point. If we now consider the gradient of a parallel line, it will be the same. So we can say now that the parallel line gradients are equal. So if we just consider now, gradients are equal. Therefore, what I have now is a value. And I'm going to say that this is m. m is the gradient and that is 2. We have a point that it goes through, which is 4, 3. So all we need is the equation of a straight line. We can use y is equal to mx plus c. So subbing in the values, we can solve for c and then go ahead now and write the equation of the line parallel to y is equal to 2x plus 1 that passes through the point 4, 3. So subbing in, we're going to have the y coordinate, which is going to be 3. Then we're going to have m, which is going to be 2. Our x coordinate, which is going to be 4 plus c. So this is going to give us 3 is equal to 8 plus c, so we can see that c is going to be minus 5. So we can write the equation of the line as y is equal to, we're going to have the gradient of 2, so this will be 2x minus 5. And that is the line parallel to y is equal to 2x plus 1 that passes through the point 4, comma 3. If you wanted to look at this, all we've done here now is graph the line and we'll do the first one. This is going to be y is equal to 2x plus 1. That will look something like so. The one that I've just done is y is equal to 2x minus 5. So we've got a parallel line and we'll just move this one down a touch. That looks something like that. So this point is 0, 1. This point is 0, 5. And we can see now that this point here would lie on our line and that's 4, 3. So if we have parallel lines, the gradients are equal. We could have used y minus y1 is equal to m, the gradient x minus x1. So if you're used to using y minus y1 is equal to m multiplied by x minus x1 to find the equation of a line, we could have done that. So using these values, we would have had y minus 3 is equal to 2, then we would have had x minus 4. So if we just consider, this is going to be y is going to be equal to 2x minus 8, and then we're going to have plus the 3, so we can see y is equal to 2x minus 5. It's entirely up to you which method you use. Let's now go ahead and find the line perpendicular to y is equal to 2x plus 1 that passes through the point 4, comma 3. What I'm going to do now is state that the perpendicular lines m1 multiplied by m2 will be equal to minus 1 if perpendicular. So what we'll have, let's just write this down, so we've got our perpendicular line here and the gradients now, if we multiply them, will give us minus 1. So we can see that m1 is going to be 2. Therefore, what I can say now is that m2, the gradient of the perpendicular line, is going to be now the negative reciprocal. So if you want to see this as 2 over 1, this is going to be minus 1 half, as when we multiply these two, we're going to end up with minus 1. So, for example, if we had a gradient, m1, that was 3 over 5, then m2 would be equal to minus 5 over 3 if these were going to be perpendicular. So now what we have is a gradient, we have a point that it goes through, and we can just simply sub this into a straight line. So y is equal to mx plus c, and I'm using the first method. So we're going to have 3 is equal to minus 1 half. Then we're going to have now the value of x, which is 4, and then we're going to have plus the c. So that gives me now 3 is equal to minus 2 plus the c. Adding 2 to both sides, we can see that now c is going to be equal to 5. So we can write our line as y is equal to minus 1 half x plus 5. And that now is the equation of the line perpendicular to y is equal to 2x plus 1 that passes through the point now 4, 3. So that's all we've done. If we just think about what we have here, and I'll draw it on here. Let's do that. 
that's going to be the point four comma three and if it's perpendicular we're going to be at right angles so we can see it's got a gradient of minus one half and it cuts now the y-axis at the point zero comma five so let's go ahead and do that let's just put this on this is going to be now zero comma five we've got now the right angle just here as it's perpendicular and it passes through the point here this point as we saw was zero comma minus five and we had zero comma one so the take home point if you have parallel lines, the gradients are equal. We've got a point that it goes through. We sub it into the straight line equation. If it's perpendicular, the product of the two gradients, or if you multiply them, will give us minus one. Therefore, it's the negative reciprocal. We turn the fraction over and make it negative. So for example, now if m1 was equal to three, then the gradient of the perpendicular m2 would be equal to minus one third. If we had m1 was equal to one quarter, then m2 would be equal to minus four. If we had now m1 is seven over eight, we would have now the gradient of the perpendicular m2 would be minus eight over seven. When we multiply these, we get minus one. So a quick example now of finding the equations of lines parallel and perpendicular to a given line through a given point.